Yahweh and keep his commandments. That's the whole matter. This really more than more. Back to the I'm not saying. The end of the matter is we got to serve God. The problem that he said, are going to come true. The less you are allowed to worship the Lord. We already live in this current economy. Being uh, in the red even more than it was when you are trying to march. This promise. The brother spoke about the big play being debts earlier. That's what he means by bot now. He's being debts. Heavy pledges. Alright? Pledge, you kept pledging a bunch and you still paid back. Right? So, the end of the matter is going to be what the missus is going to burn this month and place up. But again, he's all angle with the highs and power of the Lord. It's got the Lord Lord's election for every single spiritual power. That's only amongst the small groups who the Lord gave the truth to. Gave the truth to. Give it to the master. And the Lord said his sanctuary was going to be a small house. Not billions of these pseudo Christians. Not billions of Muslims. Billions of people that believe in themselves. They're going to be small. Alright? Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion, conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Israelite man. Right now, probably the one third, but it's supposed to be the, 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 the whole nation, but they ain't gonna come until later. After after we we, we, we establish the um that's our government body on earth, you know. Now we're being, we're being, um, yeah. we're doing the duty of the Lord. Yeah. 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 on the highway and the byway. That's the first thing. After you learn this truth, your nationality, because it is about nationality. Psalm, Psalm 83. And what they did in Psalm 83, they took, they, they, they hid our, our national, nationality from us. So that's what they did to us. They hid our nationality. Ezekiel chapter 11, verse 16. It reads, Therefore say, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries. Yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. This is Ezekiel chapter 11, verse 16. Therefore say, thus said the Lord Yahweh, although I have cast them far off among the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, Yet will I be to them as a little sanctuary in the country where they shall come. Right. A little sanctuary. Okay? A little sanctuary. Not billions and billions of followers that believe that 90% of the Bible is going to be right? Everything that, that Esau and the slave Christians uh, don't like, they say, oh, it's been done away from it. they're going to grind your bones in the top. Lord said that um, you don't you don't get uh, the Lord's left uh, rod of iron, fresh nation, the nation. That's been done away with. The Lord going for the chip in your arm, but that's been done away with. Somebody got Christ. He saw everything that doesn't fit that norm of this fake ass Christianity. He's going to take it and he's going to throw away. The truth is that we got the truth. Right? You don't. We got the truth, you know. Alright? The Lord's house is a little sanctuary. Alright? Not billions upon billions of billions. Billions of more. No. The Lord's house is a little sanctuary. Alright? The Lord's house, the house of David, the body of the house of Shai. Alright? Like Israelites. Hebrew Israelites. Hebrew being language. Israel being a nation. Alright? 
Revelation chapter 21 verse 3 And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying Behold the tabernacle apple of Yahweh is with men And he will dwell with them. And he will dwell with them. Because remember, the heathen are in captivity on the ground of arms, looking at his arms, and letting the seeds of Israel. How do you get that in the second chapter? And they shall be, I mean, and they shall be his people, and Yahweh himself shall be with them, and he shall be their power. Not the, uh, not the heathen, not the, uh, the other religious government. 
Yeah. Yeah. Really, the Lord Yahweh will do nothing but He reveal His secrets unto His servants, the prophets. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah
and right. be set. You will reconcile back to the Father through Yahweh Shah. Simple as that. Right. 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 Not complicated. Not much of layers to it. Lord's will, man. That it be. It's there, you know. It meets my expectations. And have committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Verse 20. Now then, we are ambassadors for Amasiak as though Yahweh did reach you by us, we pray you in a Mashiach's stead, be reconciled to Yahweh. For he hath made, 2 Corinthians 5 and 20. Now then we are ambassadors for a Mashiach, as though Yahweh did reach you by us, we pray you in a Mashiach's stead, be reconciled to Yahweh. Yep. Yep. Be reconciled to Yahweh. Through who? Through Yahweh Shai. In first uh, John 2 and 1. Read reconcile. It may be such a plan that we don't want to But read the reconcile. Be reconciled to the covenant. So we went off, broke the covenant now. We, the Lord established a new covenant with him. All right? And you know you're only going to get this knowledge if the Lord gives you his Holy Spirit. You're only going to receive this. What? Okay, so the definition of uh, reconciling the Greek, which is katalesa, uh, which it means uh, to return to favor with. To return to favor with. The other nations never knew the Lord. I know that's a precept. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, to return to favor with, to be reconciled to one. To, to reconcile to one. All right, so the Christians are never going to read this. But they were never with the Lord. They, they, they were never, why didn't build the Tower of Babel? Because they weren't with the Lord. The Tower of Babel was, was a, a construction against the Lord, against the Most High God, al whatever they were calling him back then. All right? They, that was against, that was against the, the power, right? the, the real powers. All right? So they were, they haven't had the Lord, they, they were surely, surely, surely revealed to them in the book of Genesis, the first couple of chapters, they were never with the Lord. Nobody even wrecked the Tower. All right, so they, they can't be reconciled to something they, they, they never would. It's simple as that. Then, then the, the word breaking it down telling you that. All right, it can't be reconciled because they, 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 they had a relationship, a positive one anyway. Yeah. We had a positive relationship. All right, and we got reconciled. So we, now we right. acknowledge our fault and we return it from the filth of the world. All right, now, we, now we're doing the right thing. So we did it again. Right. Yep, so yeah, to return to favor with. Right, and they, they're not going to read this in the church. All right, they gotta get they gotta, they gotta get the the, uh, the, the quick uh, the study guides. All right, the sticky notes to deal <laughs> to deal with us on simple topics. Go ahead. Nine. It says uh, to receive one into favor. Mm. Uh, it says uh, those who are at variance. All right, all right. So there you go. Uh, so the, the, the Israelites are reconciled back to the power. All right, the heathen cannot be reconciled because they have a judgment. Okay, we want to do what Revelation of 2, the second chapter. Alright? Uh, Deuteronomy, the, the 28th chapter. Alright? Uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai says that he is going to destroy the heathen. They're going in the street. Alright? Uh, Leviticus 25. Alright? Uh, okay, go ahead. First John. Chapter 2, verse 1. My little children, these things write I owe to you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Yahweh Shai Amashiach, the righteous. Right, so our advocate, okay, we look that up, advocate, the first John 2, uh, 1. We have an advocate with the Father. Also, we have reconciled, all right, restoring friendly relations with to the Father, all right. By way of or via or through Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, the righteous. That's one of his titles. The righteous. King of Kings, Lord of Lords, is another one of his uh, titles. Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Alright? So Yahweh Shah does it. Yeah, yeah, I, I am. Uh, for the word uh, advocate. Oh, yeah, come so we get a better understanding. Hey, Siri. Definition of advocate. A person who pleads someone else's cause on their behalf. Right, an, an attorney, so to speak. I believe that's the same in the part of the That we had against like? Yeah, kind of. On their behalf. Alright? On their behalf. It says a person who pleads. Hey Siri. 
Like if we, can't even, we can't see the problem. We had to go through your house. Yeah. A person who pleads on someone else's behalf. A person who pleads and on someone else's behalf. A pleader in court of law, a lawyer. A pleader, a, a, a pleader in, a, 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 in, a, in a court of law, a lawyer. Okay? So, you like when you approach the bench, you had to ask to approach the bench. You can't just approach the bench. The bailiff might touch his weapon if you approach the bench. You know, you had to ask that man to approach the bench, your honor, or whatever. Yeah. But we can't even approach y Yahweh. We had to go through Yahweh shot. Right? Yeah. We'll see the Father in the kingdom. When we have the bodies to look, look upon his uh, brightness. Yeah. Even Moses couldn't even look at his front side. He had to look at the back side or the other side. Yeah. So they have shown sure Esau didn't see him. Esau uh, go get knocked out and have a dream of the Lord, the most high the white man. Dude, that, that was a demon you would see. Alright? He had pale, he had pale skin. Uh, he had put, uh, uh, straight hair and blue eyes. But that's not the image uh, you saw of the father or the son. All right? the, okay. image, the image of the father and the son okay, is, is in the scriptures and it's clear. It's not open to interpret, interpretation. All right? he, he, uh, the truth of the matter is that he's a dark skinned, melanated man. That's, that's what it is. All right? You can get mad at it if you want, but the reason why you're mad, the only reason why you're looking mad at it is because you don't know, understand the scriptures. If you don't understand that, there's a plethora of other scriptures you don't understand. That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah, everything I like y'all that y'all said, but I don't like that. Well, you don't like everything you said previously because you don't obviously you don't understand it. Uh, if I told you to break it back down to me, you probably would destroy it. So the scripture that you believe in is break it back down to me. So I'm like a, like a, like a, a third grader. So fuck up every, every fifth, fifth, fifth word. Because you people don't, you stupid Christians don't understand the scriptures. Right. All right, you think you do it. You try to talk fast talk. Yeah. All right, and you change the goalposts. All right, and you slander. All of those different techniques that, that witches use. All right, the devils use. Yeah, one thing I wanted right. to say about Christians is they always got an angle. All right. They're coming with an angle. It, it's, it's disingenuous. It's not that they're sincere in trying to get you to convert to what they believe to be the truth. It's just to simply entangle you in your own speech. All right, and try to, you know, Throw overthrow the faith of the believers, so they're coming with an angle. Right. They're not coming out of the sincerity yeah, of actually possible. trying to do something right, according to the spirit of the Lord. Right, that's right. It's a disingenuous angle. How do I trap them up? That's why they got, like you said, they got sticky notes. They got plans on what they want to come at you with to try to get you to entangle it, entangle your speech. You know, throw you off. Right. They don't want to deal with us so much. They gotta walk in the street. Right. They're not advocating for what it is that they believe. They're just trying to simply debate on how they disagree with us. And they're trying to find little things that they could try to use in their defense against us rather than just sticking to the scriptures. Right, yeah, because they don't have the truth. You yeah, that's have, why they have they to rely have on those on those things. Right. They gotta rely, rely on the manufactured evidence and taking the truth. These man you roll that shit out in the fourteen hundreds. Or the, or the symbol of Constantine or whatever. And they rehashed it over the hundreds of years. All right? Little, little, they made a new, new religion called Islam in the six, seven hundreds. And then you expect people to the masses to believe it. And then, then the, the, the sheep, all right, which are the ones that are, are that are led without the right shepherd of the, are deceived. They're deceived because they're not the Lord's elect. All right? Simply that. They're not the Lord's elect. All right? The Lord's elect are not going to be deceived. And if they are deceived, they only deceived for a moment. Then they're going to convert. I right, think truth, eventually. Alright? We were deceived at one, at one point. Alright? But then we heard the word and we, we, we believed it. I would say the majority of us is this, we believed it. Right? We go back and forth. Some brothers had to go back and forth. I don't know. Up, but, hey, brothers believe. As long as they heard it, they believe that this was the truth. Alright? All right? The truth is not given to the masses. Alright? Like we're going to know. It's only been given to Lord's elect, which is a small sanctuary, right? Small sanctuary. Right? It wasn't given to billions upon billions and billions of people. It was given to small elect men. Those few men taught other men, raised them up. Right? So in the Greek, the word advocate is para kalatos. And it means one who pleads another's cause before a judge, a pleader, counselor for defense, legal assistant, 
ever and ever. All right, so so maybe it's not change that thing. All right. The only way I was shot is our uh, is our attorney, all right, is our lawyer, the, the, the pleader of our cause. Because we're we're weak. The scripture tell about the thou worm thou worm Jacob. Okay. So. It's by the grace, by the favor, in his favor, grace in his favor, I said, also to the Lord giving us the knowledge to build us up with the truth. I said, the Lord gave us that, that favor, which is important. In turn, that knowledge to build us up into this faith. Now, he didn't get that gift every time. I'm looking at I'm looking at how, how, uh, full of different doctrines. People are, even yep. that know about the Israelites, they're full of doctrines. They're still full of a bunch of doctrines, even though they know yeah, about Israel. Yeah, and they know that evolution is bullshit, evolution theory, the theory of evolution. They know it's bullshit, right. but they still talk with doctrine. They know the caveman thing is bullshit. That's the only that's the mice, that's the mice. But they believe in the shit that he's gonna say about uh, how to fix it. Uh, yeah. the right. Moon, right. Uh, all the other uh, technology he saw can measure measuring the uh, fathoms of space. Yeah. You can't the the, the the depth of space is infinitesimal. You cannot measure space. He saw for some reason got these estimates. Milky Way galaxy is going to crash in and drop in a galaxy in a certain time and it's gone, it's going to be going so fast it's not even going to touch each other. Esau said the shit. Yeah. Esau made that up. Right? Yeah, no, I I mean there's elements to evolution theory that are true, but they don't focus on the truth part. Because we all do evolve. Right? We do evolve, but as far as a species translating into another species, it's total madness. Like, you know, and that that's a that's a doctrine of a devil, man. Like Salakia, if I may say butterflies, you know, they come from a cocoon to a butterfly. You know, this and I think we're flies from maggots, you know. So that's 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 evolving. Caterpillars. Yeah, that's the word, caterpillars. So I mean that's that's different. But um the way they talk about how man come from monkeys, right, you damn devil, you don't you know, you a cave beast. But you come from a man still, right. you know, which we got the same father, which is Isaac. Yeah, and if you think about that whole idea of a man, you know, being made erect, uh, you know, deriving from, uh, you know, monkeys to uh, homo sapiens, you know, you got to understand that there's a partial truth to that. And it's a reflection of his actual history, because this man was not erect. He was not standing on his own two feet yeah. at a particular time in history. Yeah. He was a base man. He was a base, base fellow. Yeah. Okay, crawling. As scriptures tell you, on, on his belly shall he go. Yes, sir. He was basically tra translated into a beast. Okay. All right? A total beast. All right? He, 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 he externalized what was going on in his mind. You know, the most I put that curse on him where he was eating juniper roots. Okay? Mm. Sure. Living in caves. Right? And that's really part of his history, but he put a little twist on it. He said, okay, everybody lived like that, but we're all unsophisticated. We're in a monkey-like state, you know? But the truth is, is he was the real monkey. He was the real monkey. As a matter of fact, his mannerisms, like if you notice how Esau tries to act all proper, he got that from Israelites. Yeah. He's mocking us. Yeah. And he's doing a fucking terrible job. Because you know behind closed doors, they're a bunch of fucking freaks. Yeah. And they're becoming more open now with it because Esau has passed laws to protect that freakism. And the problem is, is Jake is assimilating themselves into that freakism. Uh -huh. Which is why the Lord said you won't have to destroy both Esau and two-thirds. But I don't want to detract, I don't want to take away from the point. But, but evolution does exist to a certain degree. Because we all develop. We all increase, we all grow, we all go through uh, uh, metamorphosis, okay, yeah. or transformations, okay, mentally, physically, but as far as one species going into another species, no, no man, no. that's totally off. Yeah, we were a one cell organism, then somehow we split into another multi-cells, and right. then we became uh, uh, these sea creatures, and then we fought off the, uh, off the, uh, out of the lake or something like that. And then we started walking and was yeah. on fours, and then we started doing other stuff and we started doing like that. You know, that's and the scriptures that, that, tell you that the Lord made animals, okay. even though we all forth we come forth with the earth and the waters, waters. right? Right? Yeah. But the Lord separated the beast from man. And it tells you that in the scriptures. Okay? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. yeah, so the scriptures tell you, but remember, most most of these so-called scientists, all right, and uh, advocates of the evolution and Big Bang theories, they're not what you would call creationists, which are actual scientists that believe according to the biblical accounts of the way things were created. Because they're pushing an agenda, all right, which is to basically uh, destroy the validity of the Bible through pseudo science through, through through falsified information mm. you know that's a great example you know the so-called evolution theory the so-called big bang theory you wouldn't have a need to try to theorize anything when the lord told you how he created everything there's no reason to do that and that's that's babylon that's confusion right no that's why that's a nation of, of they, they they brought low to the dust and they, they, what misery loves company that they, they confuse, they want to pull you down, they want to make yeah. you confused with them. Right, right. Right, well, why the elite live like right. kings? You know, oh, they have their right. you can afford their people living. Damn, uh, double. Low poverty, right. not getting uh, increase. Like when inflation go up, a lot of times you don't get the proper uh, wages to, to meet that. Uh, 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 I got a piece of you, brother. But he, he's always, he, he making us live like. Like shit, not get the wage increase, but he saw he keeps getting he get richer and richer, like Jeff Bezos, right, he's right, richer right. and richer. Yep, yep, yep. You know? yep. With the damn divorce, yep. Fifty three billion dollars divorce. Yeah, yep. richer, uh, richer. Okay. And they still imposing uh, what you call it, uh, quotas on uh, the workers in the warehouse. Yep. That's wicked as hell. Yeah, production and performance goes That's up, wicked. but your rate, your wages never increase. Your cost of living right? continually right. goes up, but your wages never increase. Uh, most, most places, man, they don't give you no cost of living raise. And if they do, people are too dumb to realize that you're not getting more money. You're just getting enough money to equivalent to the cost that went up. You're still in the same boat. You ain't no more ahead than you were before. So you can buy another uh, four uh, whole chicken or a couple more packs of chicken legs. But them cost, so lucky, but them cost of living raises are bullshit because what is a cost of living raise really going to do when your rent goes up, your bills go up, your utilities go up, the food goes up, you get taxed coming in and out of the city, you know what I mean, you're paying them different tolls, man. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a documentation out there uh, called Taxed Into Oblivion and it outlines how America is, is, is really taxed beyond freaking comprehension, man. The amount of taxes you pay in a day would make your freaking... You know, spirit want to lead this place, essentially. It's like you ain't really living, man. Yeah. Like the brother saying, you ain't living. You just taking all the wealth and, and put, putting it right back into Esau's hands. Yep. Spending. Generating spending. You know? Stimulus money. But well, again, that doesn't do anything with it's, it's very hard to, to generate wealth in this society. I mean, there are ways around it, but you also got to remember, for those that are successful, all right, you're subject to loss. That's right. So it's not like, you know... You're gonna keep that game, knowing that this system is full of unrighteousness. That's right. I got pizza for that. Go ahead. This is um, this is Isaiah chapter 47, verse one. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne. Right. That's the dust of confusion. Right. Confusion. Not, not being able to uh, operate as normal as you Right now, we have a system. That's what we're going to get with a system. So, uh, Jesus wouldn't be coming to the left. Right? The whole system's going to come to the end. Right? You're confused, not being able to operate. I mean, I Asalakia. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldean of the Chaldeans. For thou should no more be called tender and delicate. Right, so it's being exposed on how much of a whore Babylon is. Put it in Babylon is going to the mother of the harlots. Yeah. Right, so you get to that's a lot of different, uh, not, not a lot of different doctors. You know, when you get into a relationship with a woman, mm -hmm. right? And for the first year or two, they call that the honeymoon phase. Mm -hmm. 
Y'all in love with each other. Y'all want to take care of each other. Y'all are on your best behavior in those honeymoon <laughs> phases. You know, it only lasts for about a year or two. Yeah. But y'all on your best behavior. You love each other. But it's like America, you know, I'm saying our, the relationship has changed yep. here in America. The state of affairs in America has changed because of that reveal that has taken place in the spirit. So now your relationship changes. Your way of thinking changes, you know? Because America has been exposed, its ass is out, you know, like your yep. woman start acting up after that first and second year. It's like, yep. damn, this ain't the person I got into a relationship with. Yeah. This this <laughs> motherfucker is a demon. <laughs> All right. That's you know, good. she a demon. She, you know what I mean? Her, her whole manner changes. You know, the quality of person that you thought she was diminishes, depletes. You don't even recognize this person no more. So now, because we had that eye we're looking at America for what it really is. Nothing but a bunch of confusion, wickedness, death, deceit. Right? And that's that's what it is. It's no longer tender and delicate. It's not tender and delicate. And it's exposed its own self. As it's good to say, like tongue shall fall upon themselves, they have revealed themselves to be the devil. They're not hiding it no more. They're not hiding it. Okay? They're putting it blatantly in your face. Okay? That's right. They're putting it blatantly in your face now at this point, man. All right, with the mandatory mask wearing, with the mandatory temperature checks at your job, with the forcing of the mandatory vaccines, with the constant redistributions of wealth, they're putting in your face that you ain't nothing. You ain't nothing. All right? But Jake still want to believe, all right, in this false sense of hope. Society too. You notice how they keep pushing uh, the, 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 the race riots, okay? They, they're pushing insurrection. That's why that Breonna Taylor case went the way that it did, because they knew it would incite Jake to be violent. You got a lot more Jake now coming out and saying, look, look, we don't give a fuck, burn this motherfucker down. Yep. And they want that, because they're getting ready to do a global reset. Another thing to point out is that's why they keep saying that the elections are rigged, because they know that this system, they want out. This, this system, this idea of this voting process, the whole idea of a democratic republic, they know, okay, in order to uh, do that global reset to institute that one world government, they gotta conform the minds of the people to say, yeah, this system's broken, it's not working no more. That's the beginning of them getting you to conform to that new world order, which some are gonna do willingly, okay? Some are gonna do willingly, some are gonna have to be put in concentration camps and uh, uh, re-education uh, centers. Some are gonna have to be put to death. Some are gonna be executed on the spot. And these are the times that we're living in, right? Th these are the times that we're living in. Again, the, the, you could see, if you have the, the, the spirit, of course, to see it, but they're putting it in your face. People believe, oh, well, they can't do that because that's against your constitutional right. They can't force me to get a vaccine at my job if I don't want to. They can't force me to get an off-ID microchip if I don't want to. I got news for you. That constitution don't mean shit to the elites. And they're showing you that. If they want to take away your rights, they will take away your rights. Okay, under the guise of international security and the interest of public health, they will take away your rights because they've been doing it. Even before 9-11, they've been taking away your rights. They've been taking away your liberties. They've been taking away your freedoms. And the only time they allow you to do anything is when it plays into their interests, when it plays into their hands. Right. 
But America is one big walk in fucking contradiction, and it's an ulterior motive at play. Okay? And we know what the ulterior motive is. It's to get as many Israelites in particular to blindly uh, follow this system to be RFID microchips and really to be put to death. They want Jake to be put and, and stay in a dead state and not wake up so that Esau can continue to rule. But that's not what's written, Chief. That's not what's written, Edomites. All right? You're not going to continue to rule. Esau right now is extremely comfortable, and he should be. They're in their kingdom. But the Lord cutting them off as we, as we speak, man. Because uh, that's the time that we're living in. But I want the brother to read uh, Matthew's 10th chapter to bring this brother's point full circle. Because what we're doing right now is confessing, all right, the Lord, okay, in the, in, 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 uh, in, in the face of the world, man. All right, and it's how you know that we're the men of the Lord. That's how you know that we're the prophets. It's also how you know that the Lord got an elect. He ain't dealing with all Israel right now. He ain't dealing with the nations. Okay? But uh, read, read Matthew 10 and 30 and read down. Okay. This is uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse 30. It says, But the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear ye not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Yes, yeah, so the Lord put a value on us that he's going to preserve our lives. And the value that we, we attained and retain is the fact that the Lord gave us Hopefully that's the wild, that exemption for judgment. And how do you know you're possibly amongst the elect? You have the name, okay, and the word within you. And you believe. And to the best of your ability, you follow the scriptures, okay, as best as possible. Right? Again, we go for the quality of something. So we trying to, you know, constantly renew that relationship with our power, all right, and improve the quality of our worship. Remember it says that the most high is a power, all right, you must worship him in his spirit and in truth. So we do our best to submit and conform to the ways of the Most High. All right? Constantly purging this old man, purging out the old leaven, renewing ourselves in the, in, in, in the, in the word. That's how our brothers are, are showing that diligence. Okay? But the Lord said that we're worth more than sparrows. We're worth, we're worth more than anything that's in this world right now. And it's going to be known in that day because the Lord said he was going to make a man more precious than that of fine gold. Right. And right now we're just going through that renewing process and being made worthy to receive those crowns. All right? We're in the best case scenario, man. We got the advantage if we continue, if we endure. All right? It says, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my Father which going is in back, heaven. Going back to that word advocate. See, there's a process. Even though it's already written, even though the Bashiach and Shai already know, there's still a process to this thing where we have to repent, right? That's why repentance was so heavily tough because we needed that, that safety. We needed that cover. And for us to remain covered, we've got to constantly repent. we got to constantly endure. we got to constantly renew ourselves. we got to constantly uh, put off that old man, right? Kill the flesh. Okay. Mortify the deeds. The modern day Christians, which are the false Christians, doesn't have that mentality. They don't have that belief. Whether they be Jake or whether they be Esau. Okay? But only the elect have the mentality to confess the name. Okay? And so that Yahweh Shai then for confesses our name before the Father. Because the Lord is basically saying, look, they're doing the work. You know, keep, keep, keep them the shot. Right? It says that none shall flick, flick them out of my father's head. But there's a process in order to stay within that hedge. And that's to remain diligent in this word. Alright? Mm -hmm. And that's not an easy, even though it's easy to understand, it's not easy to implement in your own life. The concept of it is very challenging to those that were not meant to do this. It's very difficult for them. That's why they're out there creating their own doctrines and their own their own way. But there's only one way. And that's three how about Shimmy how was shot. And the majority of the world, they got a problem with that. They got a problem with that. But read that again. Emphasize that verse. This is uh Matthew chapter 10, verse 32. It says, Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my father which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my father which is in heaven. 
So, so, so perfect examples of how you deny Yahweh Shai is when you don't believe in the name, you're not teaching the name, you're not teaching the right doctrine associated with the name. All right? The, the, the name and the doctrine coincides with one another. Yeah, like when uh, I just thought of thinking about long lawn chairs or something. What scripture say that you have a lawn chair with, with your wife and your children out and that wife and talk to something? What, what scripture is that? Right. I, I don't know what scripture that is, but I'm going to open some textures. What scripture says that you can uh, have your family with a lawn chair with your wife and your children while right. you're prophesying? Uh, I would like to know what that scripture is. Maybe uh, second verse, maybe uh, six, thirteen. Proverbs 5 verse 3 For the lips of a strange woman Drop as a honeycomb uh -huh. And her mouth is smoother than oil But Her end is bitter As warm wood I got honey that's sweet Proverbs 5 and 3. For the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb, mm. and her mouth is sweeter, it's a lot, is smoother than oil, but her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go, her feet go down to death. Her steps take hold on hell. Least thou shouldest ponder the path. Of life. Right, that don't mean you burn it in hell forever. I'm not talking about this real. Hell is great. Right? Or you're going to talk about the law of more likely to do that. Right there. So, it means it's great. But people, the meaning that when you uh, engage in Babylonian philosophy or Babylonian uh, religions, doctrines, alright, it's going to lead you to the grave. Which means you're going to put to death in some way. About pestilence, something about dying of the race war, right? famine, you have a heart attack, die from fear, you have high blood pressure, whatever deep you have got tuberculosis. You know, people still dying from a net or malaria and tuberculosis or something like that. And then they're focusing on C V nineteen and then uh, losing focus on the other uh more the real diseases. The actual diseases. Bacterial base. Like you can you throw that shit on your ass, you're gonna get infected. Like shit like that. You know? But they were they concerned about CB19. But when everything else got out of control. But it's what people are saying, uh, the food must have took a vacation or something this year. Heart disease must have went on vacation. You know? Yeah. High blood pressure went on vacation. <laughs> the common cold went on vacation. But we're focusing on CB19. There's no other uh, disease uh, communicable. Communi communi Alright? Disease that you can actually uh, uh, get from actual bacteria and shit, real shit. That this pollution of the earth that can actually fuck you up. Now all that just took a vacation. We focused on CB19. Right? right? Yeah, that's what we're doing? We got I got I got, I got, so I can, one, one point, if I may say. It just, um, because every time somebody goes to the hospital, they die of COVID-19. Yeah. It's when crazy. Illness, you put COVID-19 CB19. Yeah. Every other disease took a vacation. That's yeah. 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 Proverbs 5 6. At least thou shouldest ponder the path of life, her ways are movable, that thou canst not know. Right, that's what I heard first. Her ways are movable. Alright? That thou canst not know them. Thou canst not know them. So Esau's always moving around. We ain't heard nothing about no damn vaccine and early fall. 
Big late fall, we kept hearing about the Chinese virus in game they playing right now. Right. You don't even know you got it, you die, and all of a sudden after you die, you found out, your family found out you got COVID. Right. And you didn't know. Right. You didn't show no symptoms, but you died of it. Right. And then they did. Yeah, you didn't even, uh, this dude. Come on, man. <laughs> and then they come out with the, uh, the actual information that asymptomatic, because remember that was one of the main reasons they used to the fact that they, you know, bring about these lockdowns and right. why social distancing messages are, of course, put into play. Well, you end up finding out that they end up publishing themselves that they're asymptomatic, rarely spread the disease. So what the hell? All the people who put in straight for what? You know? Crazy, man. You know, so all of course of the different statements this man has of the publishing, he's going back on his work. And the thing of it is, is technically you wouldn't need everybody to wear a mask if you really think about it. Because for the individuals that are afraid of the virus can wear the mask. If the idea is the mask is supposed to protect me from you and you from me, if you have the individuals that fucking wear the mask, then it's protecting them against those that don't want to wear the fucking shit. Yeah. Essentially. Y'all good. I got a mask on. I'm protecting you. Yeah. I'm about to say yeah. y'all good. Right so I don't want the fuck I need to wear the mask for. I'm, I'm going to take my chances because we don't we know that shit is bullshit. Can we have faith. Yeah. That's, faith that's, that's what I'm that saying. That's why we know it's faith. Uh, you got, got faith. Got faith that and the thing with it, exactly. Yeah. The thing is, we, it's not like we out here without precautions. It's not like yeah. we out here with, without precaution. It's not like we're out here careless. 
Yeah. All right? We're not reckless, man. But we just know the tactics of the enemy. You know the masks don't right. pressure and give you disease, right? Right. The virus, <laughs> don't, don't, don't it don't pressure. Yeah, the, the masks are full of bacteria. You're breathing in your own carbon dioxide and all that bacteria that's been building up all day in that mask. That's it. I got a piece up? It's like here. Ecclesiasticus chapter 12, verse 6. Yeah. No, first, first 10, Salakia. Never trust thy enemy. Like the enemy said, Fauci. <laughs> Fauci. Did you say Fauci? Yeah, yeah. 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 Fauci. Yeah. Fauci. Yeah. Fauci. Yeah. Fauci. Yeah. 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 Fauci. Yeah. Fauci. Yeah. Fauci. Yeah. Fauci. Yeah. Fauci. Yeah. 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 Where your mask don't prevent you from getting a uh, 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 disease or an infection. Your mask don't help. You. It's where when you go into a store to comply with the business rules. Right. Right. Uh -huh. When you're walking down the street, you don't tell you what you're stupid wearing. Right. But where's your choice? Right. So I'm pointing out that you look like that, that, that your people don't, that don't have faith. Right. Right. And you don't have any common sense either. You people are dumbasses. Con. Right? Not, not that you don't do you well. That's, that's, that's all good. We already don't have it. You people don't even have common sense or good sense if you don't do uh -huh. Common? You don't even have good sense. Right. You're not even witty. You don't have your right. wits about you. Right. No. Right? Wearing a mask doesn't prevent you from getting the disease, right? You know that, right? right? <laughs> you can't teach old bottles anyway. No. These old ass jakes don't have the truth. I'm telling you, these old ass dudes, 60 plus years old, 50 plus, they don't have the truth. It's old dummies. Yo, it's crazy because we right. live in a time now where the, the old act more immature than the young. Kind of. You know? They act like fucking overgrown children, Damn. man. I think they do Niggas got again. TikToks and shit fucking <laughs> doing stupid <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> you know, that's the state, and that's just the state of Jake, man. It's, it's fucking, it's fucking appalling. It's fucking appalling. Like, I, 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 I've turned on that app. You know, sometimes that app could be useful with one of those uh, fucking one of those TikToks came up on my uh, for your page. Uh -huh. This old ass fucking woman trying to do the damn wop, oh, bro. Man, what? what? This <laughs> old ass black woman trying to do the goddamn wop. She fucking went to put her leg up and she went, oh shit, my knees. That bitch ain't supposed to be doing that shit any damn way. These old ass s'mores, man. S'mores. <laughs> These women are out of their fucking minds, man. Ecclesiasticus chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thy enemy, for as but I ain't. If, if I can say something too, the enemy said, the enemy said, don't wear a mask because it makes it worse. Then within a week to two weeks later, the enemy says, wear a mask. So what the fuck? And then and then, and then everybody had to wear a fucking mask, and everybody believed it to be like the, the, the saving grace. So what is it? That guy, that guy's a fucking joke. Like years, that's yeah. 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 yeah, like the brother said, is is one day is one way, another right. day another way. Right. And then we all you could confuse you more. Right. It's all about confuse you. Yep. Right. And then guide you into the goddamn concentration camp or into the um yep. the place to get the damn yeah. vaccination chip. Brother, right by her foot, they take hold of hell. Yeah. Going down to the to death. That's all he saw the ways gonna lead you to yeah. destruction. Yeah. And, and, and he's, and he's taking hold of her, her foot, taking hold on hell. That's the grave. That, that's you not, that you dying in the second death. Uh, the second death is uh, the fire coming from the other nations. Their nuclear arsenal is the hell fire. Right? That's, that's the second death, and that's the hell fire. It's not you burning the hell forever. The second death is the nuclear arsenal coming from other different nations. That's what the Lord's gonna use as the judgment. All right, the Lord gonna use the, the, those that nuclear uh, fire, the other nations, as judgment for them that don't obey the words of the Lord. And the words of the Lord are uh, uh, preached by the prophets. We read earlier about the secret is only given to the prophets, right, not given to the masses. I'm gonna keep saying. Say Elder Gabar said it early, earlier that the world is billions of is, is billions of Muslims, billions of so-called fake Christians, right? Lord's house is a small sanctuary. They can't add a truth. It's simple as that. The truth is not rocket science. All right? It's very simple and straightforward. All right? So, hey, all right? brother. And just, and just knowing and just knowing that, you know that the Christians don't have, the, the, the pseudo-Christians and, and the Islam, the Islamic people, the Muslims, is like it, don't have the truth. Because everybody believes in it. Uh -huh. The Lord's elect are going to be hated. 
Do you want to say something? Yeah, I, oh. Man, these religions are all inclusive. Do you want, you want to say something? You got a question? Oh, yeah, no, question. Hey, go, go, go. yeah, hey, hey, hey. The thing about this truth is it's, it's not all inclusive. The rest of these religions are. Okay? This is not all this is not all inclusive. Not anybody can just walk up in here. Not all everybody can be saved despite popular belief. It don't work that way. It does not work that way. The Lord separated the nations. He separated the sons of Adam. He separates the just from the unjust. He separates, okay, the, the wicked from the just. From the righteous from the unrighteous, from the sheep, from the goats. The Lord is a separatist, he's a divisionist, all right? And it was set up by that by design. You gotta understand how you fit into the narrative, which means you gotta understand your nationality. You gotta understand your identity, your biblical identity. And then that's how we identify you in prophecy. Because that's what it comes down to. Israelites are the chosen people of the Most High. We have an advocate with the Father so that we will be saved collectively. As a collective, all Israel shall be saved. On this side though, and in this time frame, only one third is going to be delivered. Two thirds of these people are going to have to be put to death. And like the brother keeps reiterating, it's going to come down to who has the truth and who doesn't. Who has the truth and who doesn't. We're not even on the other nations right now because the other nations cannot, cannot, cannot cannot be saved. That's right. Get it through your fucking thick skull. No reconciliation. No place of repentance. No reconciliation. Just by pure definition of the word, reconcile. reconcile. It's impossible. Reconcile means returning, restoring the favor with. We went over there earlier. The Israelites lost favor with the Lord. So right. So we're this, being reconciled. Right. This is the restoration. Right. What does it mean to restore something, man? All right, we, we, it was the restoration of the Israelites. Because we were torn down. We were torn down, man. Okay? So we had to be built back up again. They weren't even part of this in the beginning. They weren't even part of this thing in the first place. They were never created to build with us, and that's in, that's in the, that's in the history, man, history books. Yeah. The nations even pleaded to build with us. We told them no. And the Gentiles can't. What are you smiling at, man? Get your ass out of here. At least you know you ain't gotta wear a mask. At least you know that. You gotta wear a mask walking down the street. Esau, Esau, Esau. Hey, you know Esau is tree. He's all really intrigued that we're talking about his downfall. You know, as scriptures say, uh, wisdom, you know, you know what it reminded me of when he was looking at me like that? Wisdom saw him in the fifth chapter. Because he's thinking that we're crazy. He's thinking that we, our end, okay, is to basically fade off into the background somewhere while America continues on and on and on and on. Yeah, I mean there are like let's let's hypothetically say that you were gonna wear a therapeutic mask. There are actual masks that improve the quality of breathing. Uh, when you go into history, what they used to do is it's like a long, almost like a beak looking mask that actually used to increase and improve the flow of oxygen and you would put herbs in there. So what you were doing is you'd be breathing in herbs all day to improve the quality of breathing. This is just suffocating you. It's just suffocating you. But anyway, I mean, this world is been upside down and backwards. This is why we don't fuck with you guys, right. man. The nations can't be saved. Two thirds ain't gonna make it here, man. It's gonna come down to that dividing line gonna be whether or not you got the truth. Like I said, we the other nations, they were never given the truth, they were never given the law. You can't say, oh, what about Paul going to the Gentiles? If you knew anything about Paul, he was going into the books of the law. The books of the law and the prophets. Why would he be going into the books of the law to teach the other nations? If he himself was an Israelite, the law was only given to Israelites, what would the law have anything to do or how would it pertain to the nations? 
being that the Lord never made that covenant with 